One of the major uh, topics that are that's kind of hot in gastroenterology right now is colonoscopy quality, and there is a growing interest in developing data registries around some of our procedures. For example, colonoscopy, and uh, we have in our practice, for example, we have done this in starting in 2004. We began tracking adenoma rates, withdrawal time, um, procedure complications, prep quality. And we've been doing that now. We've got within our data registry for our practice, we've got over 160,000 colonoscopies recorded for the 45 to 55 gastroenterologists that um, uh, participate in our practice. And one of the problems we have found is that adenoma find rates don't move very much over the years. So, for example, we have compared individual physician adenoma find rates beginning in 2005. 2006, 7, 8, and 9 now, and each individual's adenoma find rate doesn't vary that much, which really calls into question some of the problems we're having nationally trying to develop these quality parameters around these, uh, these measures. Uh, it is not known what drives adenoma find rates. In our practice, everybody gets patients pretty much on referral to Minnesota gastroenterology, not to individuals. So our individual practices don't vary that much. And yet the adenoma fine rates vary from, in men, 7% all the way up to 45%. And if you are hitting at around 7% or 15%, we've tried slowing down the withdrawal time, we've tried mentoring, we've tried monitoring, and things just don't change. So there's some sort of process in there as a colonoscopist that we either see adenomas or don't see adenomas. We've also analyzed uh, adenoma find rates by section of the colon, for example. And if you have a low adenoma find rate, it's not that you're missing right-sided more than left-sided. It's pretty spread out across the spectrum. So it's a very, very difficult process that we've found after really following this now for five years to identify the factors that, that alter adenoma find rates. We've instituted an incentive program with money behind it to say that you have to hit 95% of your colonoscopies have to be a withdrawal time greater than six minutes. And as of uh, the end of last year, really, 100% of our colonoscopists had a six minute withdrawal time or more. And yet, even that didn't alter adenoma find rates very much. So this is a process that needs a lot of research um, and I would advocate anyone needing to know their adenoma find rates and then beginning to look at some of the processes internally, and I mean by individual, that might alter that. Are you clearing out all the pools of stool on the right side? Are you hurrying through one section of the colon? At least those you can do on a personal level. But again, um, to make this a identified performance measure still begs a lot of research to figure out what causes the differences in the adenoma find rates.